Wow. <laughs> Distinguished guests, members of the board, parents, both teaching and non-teaching staff at UWC SEA East, the UWC community worldwide, and finally, the class of 2018. Good morning. Before I even start, I'd love to comment on how smartly dressed we all are, especially our parents and teachers. And I particularly think they're trying to compete with us, the graduates. But I mean, look at all of us, look at all of us. <laughs> Another reason is they all can't graduate from high school again. Ironically, that's the daunting fate we would soon meet in the next hour, days, months, and years. But it's okay, no more IB stress. But unfortunately for us, no more excuses to skip chores or errands because of school, which is a plus for our parents, I suppose. When it comes to UWC and UWC SEA, there's a major difference that recently occurred to me while thinking about what to write for the speech. It's simply the fact that UWC SEA East is mostly pronounced as UWC East without making mention of or stressing on the SEA side of it, except when we beat Dover 8-2 in football. <laughs> I stress on the SEA East side of us because I look back at all the other UWC schools around the world and realize that just like the different flavors of ice cream, each school has its own flavor in imparting the UWC mission and values onto their students. I don't know how we might feel about this, but perhaps ours is the SEA flavor with a spicy dragon breath added to it. <laughs> but what's special about this flavor is that it unequivocally makes education a force to unite people, nations, and cultures for peace and a sustainable future by what I would consider the added flavor, opening eyes, opening minds, and opening hearts. So after doing what UWC SEA East students do best and reflecting on this phrase, I realized that our experiences at this school, though could mean so many things for each of us, irrespective of whether you're a teacher, student, or parent, has affected us in a way where we either had our eyes minds or hearts opened, or in fact, all three, just like I did. Thus, it is with this lens that I'm going to capture the collective experience of a class of 2018. So how were our hearts opened? As a scholar from Ghana, the first point of contact for me with regard to the opening up of my heart started from the mere fact that I was about to be in a community of people from all over the world. Part of this open up happened through the boarding house where my Korean roommate, James Kwan, changed my first name from Nana Kwame to Nana by responding, hey Nana, just after I told him my name was Nana Kwame. <laughs> you know what, James? I'll just call you YD instead of Young Duke or J instead of James. 61 other boarders graduating here today were also victims of several experiences that opened up our hearts in various ways while living in the Tampini's house community. We as a cohort have shared similar stories concerning our name changes and nicknames and other things people have done that have influenced us. It's as though UWC SEA East decided to just admit students whom they knew would be important pieces to our lives. These students are those we can call our friends, or better still, our brothers and sisters, so I definitely think our parents would have to expand our houses to accommodate all of us. But that aside, individual stories at East can never be told without mentioning the friends we made, who were never related to us in any way, though many of them shared the same names. For example, we've got Aditya Krishna, Aditya Jaktab, Aditya Sengupta, Aditya Swarup, and Dev Aditya. <laughs> <laughs> our friends indeed made our time here memorable by always emphasizing how unprepared we were for tests, arguing with us, laughing off the grades we sometimes had, challenging us to be better, and being with us during the torrid times. 
But apart from bringing people into our lives, for some of us, Easter is where the virtue of empathy clawed its way into our hearts, developing in us a genuine concern for others, where whether I was on a GC trip or doing hair for hope or generally putting a smile on the face of others meant more to us than even our own happiness. It has been where many of us found our passions and were given the opportunities to express them, be it through Culturama, MUN, talks from alumni around the world, CAS, as well as through doing the IB. Finally, sometimes East has been where we just had to embrace the differences of others in thoughts and in deeds. We opened our hearts to so many people and things, and we grew in us so many intimate relationships that we can't easily let go. And it's quite understandable why most of us cried buckets on the leavers day. But for those who didn't cry, we, we get it. You're emotional when you're alone, which is clearly okay. So if our hearts were open, how then were our minds opened? It's easy to think that our two to 10 years here were spent doing just the IB, but it has been one holistic and intellectually empowering experience with which we used to expertly plan and execute pranks on the whole school and made hashtag East go hard. Trust me, never have I seen young people meticulously set up prank ideas with such mischief. But again, you all can have an idea of what, of the varied ways our minds were indeed opened at UWCSEA East. Again, the IB was just a roller coaster ride of brain work with its own challenges. But I'm sure today, none of us would dare say doing the IB was a waste of time. EEs and IAs were like a twin pair, working to complement each other to make the family name IB stand out. But hey, as the saying goes, no pain, no gain, because today, we write better than we ever thought we could after giving 4,000 words of our eulogies expressed in academic themes. <laughs> we, <laughs> We better understand the subjects we studied, and we are better prepared for various majors because of the IB. So on behalf of all of us, wherever the IB is sitting and listening to us today, I would love to say thank you, and please continue challenging those about to face you. After all, no pain, no gain, and the class of 2018 definitely wants the best for our successes. The conversations we had through Facebook and Snapchat, oh, no, sorry, um, I, may, I mean in person, within our years here, have been second to none. East was filled with an enormous support system of adults and young people where we had the opportunity to share information with radical minds that made us think hours after conversations ended. Half of the things we now know are as a result of these interactions in what a visitor to a school once called another United Nations Assembly. Indeed, the time here was definitely not about the IB, but much more than that, because I'm sure we can all attest to the matured minds we now have, nurtured in a dynamic community, existent without prejudice, and respect for your point of views. And that's how our minds were opened at East. Helen Keller, the first deaf and blind person to earn a bachelor's degree, said, the greatest tragedy to befall a man is to have sight, but not vision. So how were our eyes opened? Most of us entered high school blind to our whereabouts, not knowing where we wanted to study, what we wanted to study, and what subjects to take in high school. Talking about which, uh, Jensen, can I change back from uh, chemistry to computer science after changing from computer science last week? <laughs> I'm quite surprised how the high school office never got agitated at a sporadic change of hearts. With East being alluded to a family, our aunts and uncles, the UAC, definitely opened our eyes, guiding us through making tough decisions, which will come a long way to determine the paths our lives will take, and even lending us their shoulder to cry on sometimes. Conversations, again, did open our eyes. Yeah, we did talk about football and reality shows, but we also had tough conversations when we were irresponsible and needed some talking to, which I'm sure we'd all remember. We also had conversations about looking at the world from a different perspective. These conversations caused a paradigm shift in our thinking, which in effect, I can boldly say, has developed various visions for what we want our lives and the world to be like. 
So with open hearts, open minds, and open eyes, we've been set on the path to achieve our heart's desires and impact wherever and however we can. But this couldn't be done without the input of so many people which I'd love to appreciate today. First, our parents, for learning to give and not counting the cost, as well as fighting for us and with us and not feeling their wounds. Then to our teachers for trying so hard not to judge us when we had not done as well as we'd hope and being there for us through it all. I'd also love to thank the administration for, I guess, being the admins for 255 students and 750, 750 others in grade 9, 10, and 11. I'd also love to appreciate the boarding house parents and the whole boarding house team for keeping, us with the, for keeping up with the fluctuating attitudes of adolescents like us, but still treating us like their own children. I'd also love to thank the UWCSEA Foundation and the Parents Association and all the host families for giving scholars like me and 23 others graduating here today the opportunity to taste the spicy dragon breath. <laughs> I'd also love to thank the non-teaching staff at UWCSEA East for taking care of our beloved campus. In conclusion, to the class of 2018, I would really miss all of you. I would really, really miss all of you. But we did it. <laughs> we definitely did it. And today is the turning point in our lives that has the propensity to shape the cause of our lives. And we're being ushered into entirely new experiences. East has been called home in a family where we've had our hearts, minds, and eyes opened, and where we have been, simply put, nurtured. However, to whom much is giving, much is expected, of course. <laughs> so I'd just say, go on to make a mark on the world through the force of your own ideas, personality, resources, and desire, like we did during our years at East. And the next time you are asked what high school you went to, you can say, I went to UWC SEA East with a spicy dragon breath, which opened my heart, opened my mind, and finally opened my eyes. Thank you. <laughs>